What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. So the latest Battlefield 2042 time limited special event is an event between Battlefield 2042 and Dead Space. For some reason they thought like having a collaboration between these two franchises is a good idea. This event brings up a game mode called The Outbreak which is a PvE 4 versus unlimited number of geists and it is so lame and so bad literally the only word for this is a disaster it's so bad that it got me thinking into something completely different about the whole idea of having special events in a battlefield game it really got me thinking about this because this special event that we have right now it has literally nothing to do with dead space it really has nothing to do and i'm saying this as someone who has played Dead Space titles before, I finished every single one of them at least once. Some of them like Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 1 even twice. So I'm someone that is familiar with Dead Space franchise and I gotta tell you, this event has literally nothing to do with Dead Space. It's just some clickbait thing in my opinion. It was a marketing clickbaiting thing for DICE to attract some players, at least for a limited time, to come back to the game and play this event in hopes of finding some traces of dead space in battlefield and like making this controversial idea of like combining these two franchises it kind of makes people wonder what kind of event is this when battlefield and dead space get a crossover something like that and i don't think it works because this event was literally a bad idea it's it's ridiculous how bad it is and to make it short it's a bunch of geists with hammers and shotguns and machine guns coming your way in different waves in a very non-logical and lame manner to be honest and you just have to survive wave after wave until you get to the extraction elevator and things are done this is how it is and all it adds to the game is a new bundle and some free rewards that's it and like i said there is not a single element of dead space franchise in this event literally nothing the only thing that is relevant to dead space is this new bundle which is a dead space suit in battlefield which is kind of ridiculous in and out itself having some soldier with a dead space suit like you know shooting you with a ak-12 it's it's really ridiculous DICE is doing this to a franchise that has always been about accurate military stuff in a game which wasn't a milsim. You know, we always had some realistic uniforms, some realistic looking soldiers in a game that's arcade. And that's a very bold characteristic of Battlefield games. And that's now being destroyed by DICE now making some ridiculous special events. And as I said, this Dead Space event uh, was so ridiculous, it got me into thinking about this whole time-limited special events for Battlefield games. And based on what I've seen in Battlefield 2042 and previous Battlefield titles, and the reaction of other content creators and other players, and how empty these lobbies are for these special events, I came to the conclusion that live service isn't really about having time-limited special events in a game. Maybe that really works for some other titles like COD, like Apex Legends. Maybe it works. But for Battlefield, people tend to play a few rounds of these special events and then go back to Conquest. It literally takes less than one hour. So that's how the community reacts to all these special events. So this really tells us something very important. Battlefield players do not need special events. We do not even need live service, but that's not something we need. That's something that DICE and EA want. So we literally can't do anything about that. But maybe we can make live service better for Battlefield titles. And that, in my opinion, happens with leaving these special events behind, not wasting time and resources on them. I'm not really gonna talk about wasting effort because there is not a single ounce of effort put into this special event, especially this Dead Space one, it is ridiculous. You guys have to play this to come to the understanding that I have. But time and resources is something that is being wasted here. And we can actually prevent that. DICE can actually prevent that from happening. My suggestion is something very ideal but I do believe it might actually work. I'm not sure how willing DICE is to actually implement this, but they can give us mid-season weapons and mid-season maps, perhaps, instead of this lame and ridiculous events that's something that the previous battlefield games the recent battlefield games have always been lacking for example battlefield 2042 and battlefield 5 compared to battlefield 1 and battlefield 4 do really lack content they don't have as much content as those games had battlefield 4 had 32 maps guys 32 maps that's a big number compared to 2042 comparing these numbers makes it obvious that the recent battlefield games have always been 
lacking the content that every Battlefield game before them had. And that's not something you can fix with live service, but since we do know for a fact that the next Battlefield game is going to be a live service, and that is confirmed, we, we just really can't do anything about it. But that can actually improve the state of live service in Battlefield franchise. We don't need anything like we have in 2042. Like right now, they're making events to kind of make things going in a game like Battlefield 2042 until the rumors and news about the next Battlefield game come out, which is delayed for a year, ladies and gentlemen. That game is delayed for a year, and I don't think anyone has a problem with that since the 2042 was a ridiculous release. We need a game that is polished, and we don't have any problem with waiting. But it's really hard for content creators, as you guys probably know. However, these guys are working on special events to keep this game going, instead of giving us the remaining vault weapons. That's something that they do not want to do for some reason, God knows why, but they just don't want to do that. What they actually want to do is making Dead Space Battlefield crossover that doesn't even make sense, no logic behind it, and give us that instead of giving us the weapons that are already in the game. I mean, it really doesn't take that much time and effort if they really want to do it. But for some reason, you don't get the M98B, the sniper rifle. You don't get the SPAS-12, the shotgun, and the other weapons. You don't get them because DICE just doesn't want to do that. So imagine instead of making these time-limited events, they actually give us mid-season weapons and mid-season maps. I'm not going to say mid-season maps because that might be something that really takes effort to do and to be able to deliver that, but they really can't give us one or two weapons in the mid-season. The next game is going to have a modern timeline, meaning that there are tons of weapons that they can have in the game, and they can really do that. They can give us one or two weapons in the mid-season, and that's going to compensate for the lack of content for the new title. And this Dead Space event also showed me something very interesting, and that's a mindset of DICE developers. They can really do anything and go beyond any red line just to make Battlefield look like Call of Duty for some reason. Like having zombies and waves coming your way, I don't know, PvE zombie game modes, that's something that COD always had, and the zombie part of COD, like for example the Black Ops 1 zombie, was ridiculously good. That is something that we have to just leave alone as Battlefield players and as Battlefield developers. We do not need to make Battlefield look like COD. This has never happened before. Battlefield 3, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, not even Battlefield 1. None of them looked like Call of Duty and they had their player bases. Right now the player base of Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 are way bigger than the player base of Battlefield 2042. That's because people who play Battlefield really wants Battlefield for the immersive feeling that it has, not for like zombie modes. So this is a very damaging mindset that right now people at DICE have. And I don't think anyone disagrees with this, because it's obvious. They actually tried to make Battlefield look like COD with 2042. Since the first day of beta, that was something that people understood that DICE is planning to do. And right now they are even trying to do that getting help of a franchise like Dead Space to kind of implement that in the game, which will be a complete disaster and a complete failure every single time they try to do this because Battlefield will never become Call of Duty and that goes the other way around. Call of Duty is never going to be a Battlefield game. But the difference here is that people developing Call of Duty do not try to make Call of Duty look like Battlefield. They just don't. They are making the games worse, but they're not making them look like another franchise. That's what people at DICE try to do, and that will fail. That will fail. Even for the next Battlefield game, we really need to worry about this mindset, because that's something that destroyed 2042 in the first place, and that should never be repeated. And I really doubt that people at DICE are sane enough and are wise enough to prevent that from happening again. I just have no faith in DICE, and that is something I believe you guys can agree on. If not, go down in the comment section, let me know what you think about DICE's mindset about making Battlefield look like Call of Duty. Let me know what you think about these special events. Uh, let me know if you play them a lot or you just play for a few rounds or you just don't play them at all because I want to really know what the community thinks about them. I myself, I'm completely done with this. 
I'm done with special events. I do believe there is no need for them being in a Battlefield game. And I do believe DICE needs to stop doing this for the sake of the franchise because this thing is doing more bad than good. So yeah, that was my rant video about the state of Battlefield 2042 with the special events and the dangers, the threats that are lurking around for the next Battlefield game. And the source of all the threats and all the dangers is actually in DICE. So hope this video was helpful and hope you guys enjoyed. I just completely forgot, guys. If you enjoyed the content, do make sure to leave a like and you know what to do if you want more content like this. If you're a Battlefield fan and want to be updated on the news and have videos like this on your YouTube feed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because it only takes one click and you won't be missing on the future videos. So until next time, guys, stay cool.